the way we're sending information from our client to the server is by creating tags so last time we just uh, created a random number and when we want to receive it on the other side we just check if our message contains this random number which is just called a tag you can imagine if we have so many messages that uh, we'll have a lot of numbers and this won't be the most easy way to work with them so what can we do we can just create a enumerator let's call it tax and we just name our enum as the message we're sending to be more easier let's call it test message and we give it a value of 4 now the same thing that we did before we were sending 4 but this time we can just type tax dot test message because the tag variable that's here is u short we just have to pass it to u short and then we have the same thing again the same message but just it's more clear what we're doing now if we want to do this on the client side we can just copy this and paste it here as well and do the same just tax dot test message and again pass you short now the next problem we can see is if we have a lot of messages or it doesn't matter how many we have to change on both places and add new tax every time which again this is not the best solution so we want to fix that we want to have these tags only one place and it's actually going to happen very easy because we already did something similar in the previous tutorial where we set our game to save its dll file in the another directory we're going to do something similar but this time instead of uh, this project we're going to create a new one which will contain our everything we share between the client and the server so if we have any tags any models anything that we want to share between them uh, so that we don't have to write it in multiple places we are going to put it in our new project so let's create a new project from here when you click on the solution add new project select again the class library.net framework click on next let's call it multiplayer game models and in the dotnet framework you have to select the exact framework you're using on your client side as well so the issue might come from your studio or maybe some errors so you just be careful with it and select the same version as you're using so i'm currently using 7.1 and click on create let's rename this class to tax click yes now let's move the tax inside of it just to make things better let's call this a tag and our upper class tags also we want to access the enumerator so we just make it public now when we go here where we were calling our tags we just need to first import our project inside our new project inside our main one as you can see it doesn't recognize the class so we can just go right click add reference go to projects and select the project we just created now if we click out and enter when we have selected the tags we can see we're suggested 
to use our project models. And now we can access our tag just like this, calling the class enumerator and then the enumerator name. Now this is on the server side, we want to do the same on the client. If you're using Visual Studio, it's the exact same way almost, just by adding a reference, but in Visual Studio Code it's a bit different. Also before that as is set, we need to do the same thing as we did last time, which is we need to copy our DOL file that we're going to generate from our project on every build to our client directory, to our Unity game. First, let's go to our Unity game. Last time we're copying our DLO in the server plugins folder, but this time we want to copy the models DLL inside assets plugins folder. If you don't have plugins folder inside assets, just create it. So copy this part, the whole line, and open the properties of our new project. Go to build events and paste it. Now we have to change couple parts, the name, and then the directory. Because the directory is very similar, we just have to change from server to assets. Now, if we just go to build and build solution, when you build the solution, just so you know, both of the projects are being built. So both of the build events are executed. So you don't have to worry if one of them is and the other not. Now if we go to the plugins folder, we can see that we have our dialog created. So the next step is we want to add our models to our client here. As I mentioned in Visual Studio, it's pretty sim simple. Just add the reference to it. But in Visual Studio Code, it's a bit different. The easiest way when we're using Unity is just open Unity. Go to Edit, Preferences, and click on Regenerate Project Files. Now, if we go and use and type using, you can see that it's added the multiplayer game models. What it does is you can do it manually as well. When we go to the assembly C sharp C project, C sharp project, it actually just adds our reference right here somewhere. So if we search for multiplayer game models, we can see our reference is added. But as you can tell, it's much easier to just regenerate the files than add it here manually. Now we can delete our tags and just write here tag dot test message. So anytime we want to add new tag, we just go. Let's just name it. something else and we can build again again we know it's added here for sure test message 2 and if we check test message 2 is here now something that can happen is that you won't see test message 2 uh, but it won't be displayed only because the IntelliSense maybe didn't uh, recognize it because of something or it cached. You know, something happened. 
to change that, to fix that, we just need to restart our IntelliSense. So just do Ctrl Shift P and search for OmniSharp Restart OmniSharp. When we click on this, just wait a bit and then your message should appear. That was it. Thank you for watching. If you've liked the tutorial, please like and subscribe for more.